Hi there, this is Mike Holmes at ReachKeep.com and welcome to 5 Minutes to Better Sundays. Today we're going through Easter tip number one and it's called the value of ready. The idea of being ready for Easter is super, super important. Of course, the Bible gave us all sorts of feasts that the Israelites were supposed to be prepared for and ready for. And we know we're even supposed to have our own heart uh, prepared for things that the Lord has. And we're supposed to look towards his, uh, his imminent return. And that's something as far as being ready. And folks, there is a ton of value in being ready. And here is kind of the big question for you. Are you ready for Easter? I tell you what, I'm excited. It's coming up. It's uh, it's uh, probably about two months away at this point, but we are ready and we are working on it and getting things going. And I want to give you just a couple simple tips to help your church be ready for Easter and how Easter can turn out to be a huge surge and a huge uh, barrier breaker. Uh, with uh, attendance and with growth and with excitement and with volunteers. There's so many things that can be uh, positive about Easter. Let me just start out first of all and say a uh, part of the value of Ready is the preparation of of your people. It's just to get them excited about it and get them going. It gives them something to grab hold of. It's an actual date and a time and a place and an event. And folks, everybody loves those type of things. If we were to say we're going to have a great big bar barbecue picnic on the 4th of July, our people would be excited and you'd probably be excited too and you'd be welcome to come out and, and join us. People love to have a handle of something that they can have and so I want to encourage you to promote it. The other thing is that it is a tool for your people to invite people to come to church. And it is something that they can be proud of and say, hey, this is my church. I want you to come and, and we're having this big barbecue thing or whatever. But in Easter's case, it's like, hey, it is a big time of the year. Many people come to church that don't otherwise come to church. And that is a powerful tool uh, as well. So the value of ready is super important. Now, let me give you a few simple things to do. And the first one is, number one, announce Easter. Announce it now. Next week, announce Easter that it is coming. Give the date, the time, the place, what you're going to do talk about uh, just the idea. You may not have all the details worked out at that time, uh, but, but it's good to go ahead and announce it and, and kind of let it let people know that you're thinking about it. I will put ads out this week, just on casual ads on Facebook that just kind of say, hey, let me be the first one to invite you to Easter. And we're two months out, but people remember it and they make comments on it. So make the announcement. Then with your church people, number two is make a list of things that you'd like to get accomplished. Now, this is not lofty spiritual goals at this point. We'll talk about some of those in a, in another uh, 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 whatever this is, YouTube video, <laughs> another video here in a little bit. Uh, but this is just some plain stuff like, hey, by Easter, it would be really good if we could paint the foyer. By Easter, it'd be really good if we could fix the carpet over there. By Easter, it'd be really time if we could fix the, the sign in the front of the church that's falling over and begin to build some visions. So come up with a little pick list and get some people excited about doing a few of those things. And then, of course, number three is just enlist some folks to get them to do that. And as you start to do this, and now we're still a couple months out, people will begin to start to get that. It is, it, it's easy. If you said, I want you to come to church, we're going to hand out a thousand flyers throughout the neighborhood, that's a difficult thing. That's a big step for a volunteer. But to get them to help you nail down the, the tax strip on the carpet, a few things along that line, or think about some decorations, that is an easier thing to do. And so this is the time to begin to ease people in. Now, there will be spiritual goals that you will build later. Later. Number of people uh, to return the week after is a very important goal for us. Uh, the number of folks that come and some dynamic spiritual uh, uh, things can happen with guests and we can you know, have them come to the Lord. Those are some things to work on later and we will talk about that. It's the idea of building this, using it later. But right now you need to just start with some of those very simple things. Because folks, Easter can be that very first day where a person comes and I mean they make the turn. They make the turn to Christ, they make the turn to the local church, they make the pivot, and they never look back. In fact, this coming Easter could be the time when someone says, hey, it was at that Easter that I got my life right, or I got my, uh, you know, I got saved, I got my heart right, I started to get involved in the local church, and they began to grow and mature. And think about what it means for a person to say, you know, it all started on an Easter, it all started that time back in that little church. I went there. I went to that service. And how cool that would be. 
And years from now, when their, their kids have been discipled and they've given thousands and thousands of dollars to you know, missions and they've been involved in service in your church, it's all going to pivot back to Easter of this year. So I want you to kind of think about that and be ready for that. Now, it's ready to you know, prep and clean and all that, but folks, be ready for the blessing. The value of ready, it is so important for us to work on getting ready for Easter. And I am excited for you. And I want you to come back uh, next week. We're going to cover another one. And this is the idea of what we build it now so that we can use it later. And that is why in this time, several weeks before Easter, we need to begin to build out some of our ministry teams and build some of our uh, follow-up things and start to think that through. We will cover that next time. So this is Mike signing out here at reachkeep.com. Don't forget to leave a comment right below uh, the video here and uh, don't forget to hit the share button and let some other folks know how they too can use the value of ready and reach their community uh, with this these easter services so god bless thanks a lot